Hello, my friends. Welcome to a new series of class as we take on the evolution of animals. In the last chapter, we did evolution in plants, where we started to trace how our plants classified and went for that to explain that we have the schizophyta, the talophyta, the bryophyta, the teratophyta, the spermatophyta, and another spermatophyta, we have the chinosperm and the word angiosperm. I'll talk about the internal or the external structure of all of plants, but we'll not talk about the internal or structure. Now, in this class, let's now go straight and talk about what is the evolution in animals. And for us to understand the evolution of animals, first, let's go to the classification of animals. Are you with me? Now, if you say you understand this, quickly, this will be our word lesson one, classification of what animals. Now, first and foremost, let's go back to how life is classified. In our previous class, we said life is divided into two formats. Either you are prokaryotic or you are what eukaryotic. Now, we said that the word pro, this, this, we must always fall back to this because this is the basis. We said it is either you are prokaryotic or you are eukaryotic. On that, we said pro means first, cryon talks about nucleus. So these are the first organisms that have in, that their nucleus lack a nuclear membrane. Because their nucleus lack a nuclear membrane, they are called prokaryotic. We said examples are your what your bacteria, and they have a kingdom called the kingdom word mineral. Members of the kingdom mineral, we say we have the bacteria and the blue green algae, also called the cyanobacteria, right? Why under the eukaryotic, the word eu means true, the word cryon talks about what nucleus. These are organisms that have two nucleus, that is their nucleus, and other organelles have what nuclear what membrane. Under this, we have the kingdom protista, we have the kingdom mycota, which is the fungi, we have the kingdom plantae, and we have the kingdom what animalia. Now look at it, guys. In the first class, when we we're talking about plant, we said that this, that's one, we said two. We said three, we said four. We said we're going to treat them under your water, under your plant, right? For those of you, when you get to medical school or when you go to the university, they're going to treat all these things under plant just the way we did. Monera, under Monera, that's what we talk about your schizophyta, which are your bacteria. We talk about your fungi, right? We talk about your plantae, which has your verified, the verified, and so on. Now, in this chapter, everything about animals is what we're going to talk about in this full chapter. We don't have any business with plants. So our main focus is animalia. So kingdom animalia. So do you understand? We say life that into two. We have the prokaryotic, we have the eukaryotic, we list the kingdoms. There are five kingdoms. We have the kingdom monera, the kingdom protista, the kingdom fungi, the kingdom plant, and the kingdom animalia. And we say that when we talk about plant, which we are going to be treated monera, we treat it protista, we treat it fungi, we treat it plantain. But in this chapter, we are going to focus on only animals. That's animalia. Now, let's classify animals. Animalia are divided into two. Now, either you have backbone or you lack backbone. On the basic classification, either you have backbone, that's not to code, or you lack not to code. Those that lack not to code are called invertebrates. Why those that have are called your what invertebrates. So animals based on vertebral column or based on your what your backbone or your vertebral column. We said it is either you have no to code. Vertebral column we also call it no to code. No to God. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLifts app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the language app for you so all you have to do is just mark down to play store or app store and download the language app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end a quick one before we move let's get back to class enjoy so based on the two code now we have two types whether you are those that lack that's invertebrate they lack they don't have no to code they lack backbone why those that have they are called your words your vertebrate are you seeing that so we have the invertebrates and the word the vertebrates. So under your invertebrates, we're able to call the word the PCP Namia. This is my acronym, everybody. It's called the PCP Namia, PCP Namia. The first P here is called your protozoa. The second P here is called your porifera. This C here is called your colenterata. This P here is called your platyamite. This N here is called your nematode. The A here is called your annelide. The M there is called your mollusca. The A there is called the arthropod. And E is what to call the word echinodimata. The P, P, C, P, Now listen to me. 
take note that in your whole level, they will just, they will talk about your PCP Namia. If you watch, we omitted the second P. Are you seeing that? I'm going to talk about it, but majorly in, in all level, we don't talk much about this P. That's the peripheral, that's the sponges. Are you seeing that? But take note that if we're going to remove this P, it will not be PCP Namia. Everybody follow me. PCP Namia. PCP Namia. One, two, go. PCP Namia. That's your protozoa, your collateral, your plant, your mite, your nematoda, your analida, your mollusca, your chinomata, and your what? Your, your arthropod and your what? Your chinomata. All of them are topic. So you're going to know them by default because we're going to treat them one after. So this is the journey we are going to. The protozoa, the collaterata, the plantain mite, your nematoda, your annelid, your mollusca, your arthropod, and your achinid. But those are what's invertebrate. Why under your vertebrate, we have what we call your param. What I call them param, this param. This P here is called your what? Your Pisces, that's your fishes. This A here is called your what? Amphibians. Amphi, that means dual. They live both on land and water. Pisces, that's fishes, they live in water. But amphi live both on land. And both on what are the arrow there is called your reptiles. A there is called your gifts, that's your birds, and M there is called your what mammas. So we're going to talk about them. So this is the classification and the method into two. Based on vertebra or not to code. We have what to call the invertebrate and invertebrate. The invertebrate are called the PCP Namia. Are you seeing that? That's your protozoa, your collaterata, your plantain mites, your nematoda, your annelid, your mollusca, your Arthropod and your children. Well, what are your vertebrates? We have your param, 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 param. That's your Pisces, your amphibians, your reptiles, your apes, and your mammals. Your Pisces, your amphibians, your reptiles, apes, and old mammals. Now, if you say you understand that, let's give um, uh, a picture of each of them. Have you seen that? Let's start with the invertebrate. We said we have the PCP Namia, right? The PPCP Namia. Now, the first one there is called the word the protozoa. Protozoa, we have the apex TP. So let's say we have the apex TP. The amoeba, the proto, the amoeba, the paramecium, the glina, the vulvus, that's called clamadominus, your trapanosoma, and your what, your blasphemy. We're going to talk about all of them. So those are the what the trap, uh, the what the protos were. We're going to explain them all, just giving an overview. If the other PDA, we said it's called your what, your purifier, that's your what, your sponges. All level will not talk about, about sponges, but just know when you go to invest, it's a topic. Are you seeing that? So we have talked about your protozoa, your polyvira. The second one is also called your what? Your collinter, your collinter. I want to talk about your collinter. They are also called your schlinderians. There are four. We have your, your jellyfish, your sea animals, your corals, and your what? Hydra. They are the most beautiful animals of this, of the sea. Have you watched a movie and you are seeing bottom of the sea? You are seeing those beautiful guys. They are called your what? Your collinter. So let's say your what? Your collinter. This is your corals. Are you seeing that? So example here, yeah, this is where Hydra belongs. Hydra is a collateral. We're going to treat them one after that I just have. We have the protozoa, we have the polyphera, we have the collateral. Then what's the next one? After C, the next P is what to call your water, your platinum. I just call your water, your flat one. I just seen a platinum. I just call your flat one. Now, if they want to insert any lamp, anytime you see a girl that the back and front, the girl is slim, no front, no back. That lady is a platinum. Because from the word platinum, platinum means flat, eliminate means warm. So they are called platy means flat, eliminate means warm. So they are called flat warm. So that doesn't mean now that somebody has the best is flat, the word is wrong, but the word flat, all you should remember is platy means they are called the word the flat word. So we have talked about the PCP now. The next now is what to call your word first. Let's see bring that acronym now. So we have talked about P, we have talked about this P, that's your protozoa, your uh, porifera, your collaterata, your platy And there is called your word your nematodes. You can see that nematodes. These are your words, your name. We're going to talk about all of them. A there is what we call your words, your annelids. And you see that? And M there is what we call your word, your mollusca. Your mollusca. The other A there is what we call the word, the arthropod, which is your words, your arthropod. Uh, your insect is there. The class of is very large. We're going to talk about that. So the A there is what we call your word, your arthropod. And E there is what we call your word, a chin of the word, the matter. So those are the invention. We'll call them the PCP Namia. This is just. A, a glimpse so that you have an idea of who they are, what they are. We're going to treat them one after the other. So this is just like classification. Do you understand? Now let's now go to the vertebrate. You see the acronym is Panamabi. First we have the word the Pisces are your fish. Here there we have what we call the word the amphibian stood. You can see the stood chilling. Alpha the stable to land and water. So we're going to talk about that. The arrow there is what to call your word your reptiles, your snake. The A there is what to call your word your peeves, that's your bird. And M is what to call your word mama. So we are using a Yamachanga. 
to represent that. Please, everybody, this is the classification of animals. Animals are being but based on vertebral column, animals are being into two, right? We have the vertebrates, we have the invertebrates. The vertebrates, para, invertebrate, PCP word. I mean, I hope you understand that. This brings us to everything about this class. In the next class, we're now going to focus on the first guy because we said we are going to focus on invertebrate first. Not that invertebrate, who is the first guy? That's your word, your protozoa. Pro means first. Zoan means animal. We're going to talk about that in our next class, and that will be our lesson too. But for now, peace. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye bye.